and it really is enough to make anyone feel powerless, and especially so for the subject of our next story. As Denver 7 Sean Toll reports, a woman left Australia for Colorado, but her sister is still in the thick of it. The pictures and video on TV of the Australia fires are hard to miss, but Julie Nitz is on her laptop looking because there are pictures she yeah. wants to see. It's obviously terrible. Um, my sister is... Um, right in the heart of it. Nitz and her family moved to the U.S. two and a half years ago, but her sister Corrine lives in the southeast part of the country, the most devastated region. A father and son lost their life in that area, defending the fires, um, so that was really tragic. Staying in contact with her is currently centered around the computer. Just um, via Facebook that, that we can communicate at the moment, and I think she's doing that so she can let everybody know um, not just family, but obviously her friends are concerned about what's going on. Corrine was evacuated from her home, but has been let back in. Updating people has been tough. Just to get these out, she has to drive somewhere to charge her phone as she doesn't have power. And then we got the update that she'd come back home and the fire had actually gone right up to her front door path. And luckily her house was saved, but people in her street have lost their homes. These pictures from her sister provide Nitz a glimpse into what she's dealing with a half a world away. We have uh, supplies starting to come in, uh, but uh, very slowly trickling in as roads are opening. Uh, the threat of the fires is still there. But not being there is still the hardest part. I haven't been back to Australia in two and a half years, so... I feel kind of bad not going back and um, yeah, it makes me just want to be back there to, to help out. She just hopes it doesn't get worse out there. Sean Toll, Denver 7.